<laughs> Good morning, sisters, sisters, C Star, and my sister. Two of you actually interact with my channel and me. Um, and we kind of talked. Wow, this is not going how I had it in my head. Um, we talked about you know what I do with my dehydrated things and what I dehydrate and, and, and all that. Well, I decided this morning since I was up early and I got things done and I was like, yeah, so proud of myself. I I'm, I'm getting her done. I got bread going over here. Want to see? I didn't do a video about the bread. Of course not. But can you see that? Yeah, we, it's still got to rise some more. Mm -mm -mm. Easy, no need bread. Stir it and then wait. <laughs> anyway, so I decided since I said I was going to do it and I figured, well, I'll just take everything out of the cupboard and wipe everything down because it's been up there for a while and it's dusty and I'm a little embarrassed. But then I thought, I'm never going to take it out of the cupboard again unless I need to use it. So, you get to get this video as it is right now, including me as I am right now, which is, well, it's early. <laughs> and, yes, I've had coffee. I'm actually working on the last of my second cup, um, but it's iced. And, and look at that. Upcycle. Everything. This is a regular canning Bernardin jar same lid the difference being they don't come with lids that you can use for your coffee so i make my own Ta -da! it was just a container lid from something else that there was no bottom to because you know we all have cupboards full of those anyway so i'm having my coffee and i'm listening to Oh my goodness, you know, if you've if you've turned on anything, it doesn't have to be news. Everything is just doom and gloom and misery. And you know what? Because it is. It's doom and gloom and misery. So, anyway, here's me in my kitchen. I'm going to sit on my chair, my heart-shaped chair that I've painted. It was an accidental painting. I got paint on it and then went, hey and just covered it. It's not an even cover color. Anyway, oh my goodness, I am all over the place. Should have smoked one. Huh, maybe I'd be a little more organized. Anyway, so I took everything out of the cupboard because I was going to wash it down. And here we are now. Here we are. Hi. See, not prepared. This is from yesterday. Good morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Practice, practice, practice. It's horrendous. Actually, I don't even know what I look like right at the moment. It's kind of funny. Kinda, but kinda not. But, you know, tis the season for, oh my God. So anyway, um, there's, there's all the dehydrating thing, which I'm gonna go through a little bit at a time. And I also wanted to introduce you fine ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, listening, to these. This is, oh my goodness, that would be my dog. Ta-da! Right back. Mailman showed up. Loki had a fit. He was sleeping, so he got scared. <laughs> anyway, back to these. Now, it says it replaces up to six months of paper towel. I'm not going to say that, or at least not in this variation of them. But what I can tell you is that these things are kind of amazing. And I will see if I can put a link in the description underneath. I'm, I'm not going to try the card in the top corner or that corner or whatever corner it is. <sighs> anyway, so you should try these out. They're pretty good. They're rewashable. You can either chuck them in your washing machine. We all have pets, or at least my family seems to all have pets. So we should not chuck them in the washing machine because there's a texture to them and it picks up every single hair, every single hair. But 
they're so like oh my goodness like I never mistake nobody in the house mistakes a dishcloth with a face cloth anymore not that these don't excuse me not that these don't work actually I've used it as a um a little face scrubber because it does have some texture anyway you should give them a shot give it a try now on to dehydrating things the reason i brought these out is because i want to open them and so i can take the new one and i can wipe off the lids as i go i guess i could have used from the old one but we're actually finished our first roll and i've been waiting to open these and it turns out that today is the day so i will grab a new one so that i don't have to use the one that has picked up random hair from all over the place and other things because you know it's kitchen it's the kitchen so there's always something a little bit of water just warm water and i will get vinegar cleaning vinegar is actually really kind of cool i didn't even know that there was like a big difference but there really is this is double strength cleaning vinegar and like kill my nose and you know, jamie can't stand it i can't really blame her though it's 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 pretty intense but this is was my plan today to go through the cupboard and do this oh, so i can make them all pretty so i could do the silly video because i said that i would oh my goodness i don't but everybody's looking to do content for winter this will be one of them for me so the first thing here in this big jar is mint this is mint we grew in our yard and um it's it's organic totally organic which is great sounds great right you know and mint is a most horrendous weed and you think oh my goodness you're gonna have mint for days no no if you actually want to grow mint to make his tea these big leaves look beautiful and you know they would be very cool to wrap around like a bunch of flowers or something as they dried and then they open and we you must have seen those dried tea leaves and they go Ooh, and the flowers come out these would be beautiful for that but for taste almost nil um hardly any taste at all so i have a couple of jars there's these giant ones and then there's these which was closer to tops and little pieces. And I don't know. I'm going to get up and look. Can you see the purple? See that? Some up there. These ones were picked at a slightly different time. And they are smaller leaves. And a lot of the, the top leaves, these are flavorful. These are amazingly flavorful. And the tiny little ones... Um, I don't know if I have any left. I may have drank them all because I actually do quite enjoy mint tea, it turns out, not from a store. I have never drank mint tea that I enjoyed ever in my life. It's almost as good as chamomile. It's gross. Um, anyway, <laughs> so tea. I, I grew tea, not tea as in tea bags, but I do keep a jar up in the cupboard and I also have a bigger jar up on the shelf that Neem built me of tea because it's always good to have something that's flavorful. Um, and in these hard times for everybody, it's nice to have a little something different. Now, when I first started doing the dehydrating, I did everything. In fact, there's a couple things in here that I could probably just chuck and then wash the jars. This might be one of them. This is cranberries and sugar. And I keep thinking, oh, toss that out. And then I taste a little piece and it's almost like caramel or something. Anyway, so 
so in the beginning I did oh my goodness dehydrated everything but it's not really necessary to dehydrate everything um, this I don't know I haven't tried it yet this um, I kept it I dehydrated it and kept it for tea I'd made jam and I don't know about you peoples but I can't stand the seeds in my jam I hate seeds and jam. I don't want them in my teeth. I don't like them. So I strained it all out and I thought, well, you know, I can always add that to tea. I haven't even opened the jar. I need to make just a tea cupboard. Here's actual raspberries. Dehydrate it because I wanted to try. This had been full, by the way. I take out a couple and add it to a tea here and there. This is not for tea. This is actually seeds. And I have, <laughs> anybody wants some marigold? Because these aren't even the only ones. I have another container or two well over there. And then there's some in the seed container. And then there's some in a bag in a seed container. <laughs> Back to dehydrating. This. This was kind of a mistake. It's garlic. And I had made um, some beef jerky, but I hadn't rinsed it enough. It was so salty. But I didn't want to waste all of this garlic. And there was about double what's in here right now. So I dehydrated it. And it is the saltiest, flavorful garlic you would ever taste in your life. And it's perfect to add to a soup, stew, that kind of thing. I guess maybe even a casserole if I made casseroles. Um, so that's going to be a keeper. This is garlic salt. Now, I talked about this before. I don't know. I should look it up. I just don't have time or don't care enough to, to care, I guess. Um, it, garlic's very sticky very very sticky so I've got to figure that one out so that I can get a garlic salt that doesn't become one with the glass so that sounded weird didn't it did I even, yeah I must have restarted this I don't know um woo, more garlic this is green onions from the garden um and we think actually oh a child is up they were long green oniony flavored things in the garden and we never used them but it was one of the few things that actually kept growing so I cut them down <laughs> dehydrated them and put them in a jar and I slowly this was full um, during the summer it's slowly going away Meh. garlic garlic that actually needs to just be chucked. This was my first attempt at, at that. And it was, it was just all bad. Now another neat thing, I don't know if you're actually asking in your head or not, but you probably are. What is with those lids? Well, you know, that cheese that comes in a container with, with the lids, they fit on these jars which is darn handy, as you can see. Oh, yeah, see, me and my garlic, I love garlic. Um, which is why there's a couple of videos about garlic. Just open it, and away you go. You know, you can take that, or you can sprinkle it, and then you just get smaller pieces of whatever's in there. And it's fabulous. I love these lids. We've actually... <laughs> Got more cheese in our orders just so that I could have more of these lids. I now have a selection of colors. Not that there's a selection of colors out here at the moment, but there's blue ones and black ones. Lovely. So, garlic. Garlic and garlic and garlic. Garlic and mint and raspberry so far. Well, I dehydrated it. I did not mark on it, so I don't really know what it is. I think, oh, it's citrus. What did I do? <laughs> okay, let this be a lesson. Always mark. 
whatever you do. Whether it's on a piece of tape or right on the lids. I don't suggest these little paper things because look at that. Just, well, at least don't, not anywhere that it rains and you don't have a dehumidifier going all the time. And I don't. I don't. And it rains here all the time. So that is not cleaning off. Um, and I upcycle all the jars, right? That's, that's a honey jar. Um, this one was some dip or spread or something. We never bought whatever that was again. And then of course, you know, all the other ones. This is, this was the first time I did carrots. Want to see my carrots? Oh my goodness. Carrots. Oh, sorry about the face. Um, That is a carrot. And listen. Oh, isn't that great? The best part is, is that I'm going to put this, and I have used this, just put it in a soup, and it's about five minutes, and it's done. It's like a carrot again. Just a moment. I'll be right back. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I honestly don't know if this is a continuation or if I get to start it over. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess I should have been more prepared anyway. So lastly, it was carrots and, oh wow, my enthusiasm has just gone right through the floor. <clears throat> I love getting crap from people, especially little people. Anyway. Um, so carrots was the last thing I was talking about. And I actually was going to show you, I got these were the ones that I did first. And then very recently, like this morning, I took these out of the dehydrator. <laughs> this is 12, count it, 12 large carrots in this little jelly jar, 12. 12 carrots. That's pretty impressive considering, you know, there's actually still some room. Um, if I'd done it neater, I could have put more in there. But I like to do these and I can't wait to actually get different vegetables to do this because it really is just that easy. You put them in your soup, your stew, your casserole, they absorb moisture. Oh, it's the best if you can put them like onions onions if I'm making something in the frying pan I put some of these in here in there sorry excuse me with the oil before there's any actual liquid so tasty oh my goodness and again this is like look at that isn't that pretty I think it's pretty. Mm, and okay, it smells like an onion. Let's, but and that's the way it should be. And when you eat it, it's sweet. It's so good. It's like a snack. But we really onions have been on a weird shortage this year, so we don't eat them as a snack. We're actually trying to be very conservative. When it comes to our onions, we love our onions. Um, then, of course, there's fruit. Um, all sorts of fruit. A lot of it was bagged fruit. I didn't dehydrate it, which is why I'm not really going to get into it. It was just stuff that needed to not be in a bag in the cupboard because ants. That's why. Ants. It's all about the ants. Not the aunties. Ants. This is a weirdness. And I never would have ever thought of doing this. That is the peeling of my tomatoes. Tomato peels, which I wouldn't use them like this. I have used a few, which is why there's a bit of a dent in there. But you powder them up and it's like instant tomato flavoring and coloring. 
it's very cool very very cool um brown sugar because everybody should have brown sugar again glass containers oh my goodness glass containers are beautiful can you guess what this is let me see can you can you see it in the jar not so much hey eh? okay i'll take one out hi my child is standing behind me smiling at me hi. hello beautiful okay oh good it's friday Can you call them? Double check that it is Friday. I've it been wrong Friday. a few days this week. So, as you can see, you know, and it looks pretty. It's got all its little seeds. These are about the only seeds that I actually do enjoy nomming on. They 